Is it even possible to make the Australian flag as a banner in Minecraft? I'm Plekta and this is Plekta Builds, all about making real life stuff in Minecraft. And today we are going to tackle the very difficult situation with the Australian flag as a banner in Minecraft, because it doesn't really look like the Australian flag, does it? Alternative one is mostly used and ends up like this with a red Union Jack up in the corner and three kind of stars like this. But of course the Union Jack is red and you can't get the Union Jack up in the corner and that's why it's problematic. Uh, this is another solution um, it kind of looks like a Union Jack up in the corner or maybe not. In any case I don't think any of these looks like the Australian flag but is it close enough? I don't know. If you want to make any of these, I will show you how to make them now. The first thing we need to do is to make a loom. And to do that, go into your crafting table, put two string like that together with two planks. Uh, no, put the planks below and then you have the loom all ready for you. We have to start with white banners and blue banners. So let's get some blue banners going by placing six blue wool like that together with one stick and then we have a blue banner i am going to make loads so let's just make loads there we go i have 10 blue banners i'm going to make white banners as well because we're going to make two alternatives for this one so let's make white banners six white wool like this with a stick and there we go white banners and i'm gonna make as many as possible now i 10 white and 10 blue banners and now we can start making the design for the Australian flag that doesn't really look like the Australian flag but maybe it's the, as close as we can get. Now let's start to make the design of the Australian flag and let's start with alternative number one with the blue banner and let's start with white dye and let's find this one which is white lozenge, lozenge, I don't know. Now, second is the blue saltire. Get the blue dye, find the blue saltire. Here we are, blue saltire. And now, blue pear fess. It's, it's, which one is it? Is it this? No, that's blue chief. Is it this? There we go, blue pear fess, here we go. And then we need red dye. Just a second, I need to find some red dye. I I need to get go and get some. All right, just a second. I need red flowers around. All right, next thing we need is some, some red dye and we need the red chief Red Chief Sinister Canton, and there we go. Now that's the first alternative, and we want to copy that. And the way we copy that is to put it in the crafting table next to the blue banners we've already made, and that will give us altogether nine and ten blue banners. And let me just show you how, before we start on alternative two, how we put it on a shield and this will only work in the java edition of the game put it the shield in the crafting table put one of the newly made australian banners in there together with the shield and there we go we have the australian shield alternative number one looking like this here we go that's alternative number one let's go back into the loom and make alternative number two and we will start with the white banner by itself and this time we'll make a quite weird design with red field masoned and then we'll go back with blue dye and we'll find the blue profess inverted i wonder is it this one no it's not it's this one here blue profess inverted and then we're looking for blue pear pale which is, there we go, this one here. And then we are going back to the lozenge, white lozenge. And then we are looking at a blue shelter, I think. 
that makes sense. So this alternative here, and if you want to, you might as well add, perhaps you want to add, a, just to get the star there away, Blue Chief Dexter Canton if you want to. And same thing as the other one, put it up in the crafting table with the white banners to copy it. And also we need to put it up there with a shield in the crafting table as well. And there we go, we have the other shield. Let's take a look at that, how that works and uh, how that looks. So it looks like this. So how does this look compared to one another? Which one do you like the best? The one uh, on the right here, which is the normal, the one that is mostly used as the Australian banner, or the one on the left, which you kind of feel that it more looks like the Union Jack kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not happy with either of them, but there you go. So let's just uh, finish this up by decorating the village to make it look like an Australian village. And uh, starting with a flagpole. Right, there we go. We made a flagpole out of fence, gate and iron bars. Uh, the iron bars is, of course, a little bit thinner, but it might look better. I don't know, it's a preference thing. What do you like better? Please comment below. Uh, and we've decorated the village to make it look like an Australian village. You know, this is Australia on my server, definitely. Yeah, here we go. Now, the thing is, YouTube want you to watch uh, this video next. Whatever you do, remember to subscribe to my channel for more real life stuff in Minecraft.